In the news this week, the government performs a dangerous U-turn on home abortions, the Christian Institute backs a church minister punished for his biblical beliefs, and Holyrood halts its plans to make it much easier to change legal sex. Hello. After previously saying there were no plans to change the law, the government has now said home abortions will be permitted up to 10 weeks. Women will be able to take both abortion pills at home following a telephone or e-consultation with a doctor. The government says the measure will last for two years or until the COVID-19 crisis is over. The Society for the Protection of Unborn Children has said it is seeking to take legal action against the decision. Deputy CEO John Deegan explained that abortion pills are unsafe for women as well as the unborn. The evidence that abortion pills raise the level of complications for women is clear. Our health service does not need the pressure of dealing with emergencies arising from women self-aborting at home. The Christian Institute is supporting a church minister punished by a Belfast hotel for his biblical beliefs about marriage. Reverend Harry Coulter was forced to stop an event in support of traditional marriage at the Balmoral Hotel in October last year. His meeting was interrupted by hotel staff demanding he bring it to an end. 50 attendees had to leave the hotel along with the keynote speaker Tony Ruchinski from the Coalition for Marriage who had travelled from Wales. Harry came and told me that I had to stop my talk and we had to get out of the room. Uh, it all seemed very matter of fact, there was no discussion, no debate, uh, and then we proceeded accordingly. The reaction of the people was, uh, as you could imagine, very surprised and very shocked that they weren't doing anything wrong. They were just uh, um, talking about ordinary things and ordinary matters and looking at ordinary evidence in the public domain uh, and expressing their ordinary view of something very ordinary, which is real marriage. The Institute's legal team is helping Reverend Coulter with his action against the hotel. The hotel took Mr Coulter's money, it took his booking, it helped him with setting up the meeting, it helped him with signage, and then only halfway through the meeting did they suddenly decide that they weren't going to allow this meeting to go ahead, they demanded that it be shut down. That really caused maximum embarrassment to Mr Coulter and his guests, uh, maximum inconvenience for them. Uh, it's really not acceptable. And so we are very glad to be helping Mr Coulter to stand up for his freedom of speech and his freedom to believe simply that marriage is between a man and a woman. A GP surgery has apologised for asking patients with serious health problems to sign a do not resuscitate form. In a letter, Clinvy Surgery in South Wales stated that people deemed to have significant life-limiting illnesses were unlikely to be offered hospital admission should they become unwell and certainly will not be offered a ventilator bed. One patient said that with treatment, her cancer could be kept at bay. This letter made me feel worthless. I felt as if it had been sent. I had been sent a death warrant. It comes just days after a former chief scientific advisor urged over 90s not to clog up hospitals during the COVID-19 outbreak. Professor Sir David King said it was fair to ask the elderly to avoid hospitals as they were likely to die anyway and there was a risk they would be overburdening the NHS. The Christian Institute's Kieran Kelly challenged such treatment of the elderly and vulnerable. All human beings are made in the image of God and have a special, intrinsic value regardless of how old or able-bodied that life might be. People should not be valued purely in terms of their benefit to others or what society gains from their existence. And finally, the Scottish Government has halted its plans to make it much easier to change legal sex. Ministers are delaying non-essential matters as they prioritise battling the coronavirus. They had planned sweeping changes to allow people to change legal sex by self-declaration within just six months, lower the age limit from 18 to 16, and remove the need for a medical diagnosis of gender dysphoria. With the 2021 Hollywood elections due to go ahead as planned, the bill is less likely to be passed before the end of this parliamentary term. Well, that's all for this week. For regular updates and information on all of our stories, plus much more, visit our website at christian.org.uk. But before we go, we would just like to take a moment to remember the passing of two faithful Christian believers and friends of the Institute. Norman Wells, a long-standing family campaigner, and the minister and author John J. Murray died this week having contracted COVID-19. 
We give thanks to God for their lives and remember their families in our prayers. Until next time, goodbye.